Kabir Khan's next is on the cards, but it's not with Salman. Salman finds himself in the eye of the storm with controversial tweets. 9xc.com, the show's exclusive interview with Drishyam's Ajay and national award winner Tabu. Sunny Leone continues to be too hot for the censor board. Hey guys, I'm Caitlin, and on this Wednesday evening, I'm bringing you another awesome episode of 9xc.com, the show. I'm hot, you're not. I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. So what happens when a 100 crore plus director teams up with an extremely popular actor? Well, you get a surefire hit. After the success of Bajrangi Bhaijaan, Kabir Khan is not resting on his laurels. He's already onto his next project. And does he have Salman Khan in this film? No. Yep, I said no Salman in Kabir's next. Not even after the two back-to-back -back mighty hits in Ekta Tiger and Bajrangi Bhaijaan. Kabir is working with another actor. And who is this man? Well, it is none other than Hrithik Roshan. As things stand today, Hrithik and Kabir will work on a film together. The film is said to be a love story set against a historical and political backdrop. When 9xc.com the show got in touch with Kabir, he did not deny the story but simply said, We are in talks, however, I am still working on the script. With Hrithik and Kabir slated to work together, it seems that Kabir is finally getting his wish. Did you guys know that Hrithik was one of the first few people approached for Salman's part in Bajrangi Bhaijaan? No joke guys, this is true. Kabir was even often spotted at Hrithik's home in Juhu while he was setting up the stage for Bajrangi Bhaijaan. In fact, Salman was not the first choice. The other actors who had been approached to play Bajrangi were superstar Rajnikanth, Kannada film actor Puneet Rajkumar and Telugu film actor Alu Arjun. Amir Khan, who was moved by the film, was also offered by Jangi Bhaijan, as was Hrithik, but they all turned it down. But either way, can you guys even imagine Bajrangi Bhaijan without Salman now? Well, yes, change is the essence of life, and we can't wait to see what Kabir and Hrithik bring to our screens. But looks like Salman has more to worry about than losing out to Hrithik. Salman has gone and done it again. On Sunday, we woke up to a series of tweets by Salman expressing his opinion on a very sensitive subject. He said that Yaakov Memon, the man on death row for the 1993 serial blast in Mumbai, should not be hanged. Tiger Memon had allegedly masterminded the blast along with Dawood Ibrahim and they have both been on the run since 1993. He tweeted, Get Tiger, hang him. Parade him, not his brother. Salman soon faced heavy backlash with members of a political party even protesting outside his Mumbai home. Salman's father, Salim Khan, had to come to his son's defense. He told a section of the media, Whatever Salman has written is ridiculous and meaningless. Salman is ignorant of the issue and people should not take him seriously. Later, Salman deleted the tweets and by Sunday evening he had sent out another series of tweets rendering his unconditional apology and he also clarified his stand. He added that his father had talked some sense into him. I would like to unconditionally apologize for any misunderstanding I may have created unintentionally. My father called and said I should retract my tweets as they have the potential to create misunderstanding. I hereby retract them. Salman even had to defend himself against some who were accusing him of being anti-religious. I also strongly condemn those who are claiming my tweets were anti-religious. I have always said I respect all faiths and I always will. So what do you guys think about Salman's tweets on Yaakov Emun's hanging? Tweet to us at 9xc the show using hashtag Salman's tweets on Yaakov or talk to us on facebook.com slash 9xc. And while Salman was taking on a very controversial issue, Katrina Kaif was making headlines of her own. Katrina, who normally shies away from talking about her personal life, actually opened up and addressed a rumor. Mark this day in your calendar, guys. We don't know when it will happen next, but what rumor did she clarify? Katrina has been dating Ranbir Kapoor for, well, it's been a while now, and there have been many speculations about their relationship status. They've been engaged a few times and married just as many. Recently, rumors of their engagement cropped up again. So, what is the deal behind it? I'm glad you asked that, because I'm definitely not engaged, and I know, I know you guys are so sweet, 
and you seem to want me to get married, but there's no such plans now. So please bear with me being, being uh, not married for some more time. <laughs> Well, she might have said this with a smile, but we so detect a hint of sarcasm. Well, forgive us, Katrina, for being just a little bit curious, and no, we're not being sarcastic here. Sevali Khan, though, only had sweet words for his co-star and maybe future family member. Katrina, after all, is dating Sev's wife, Karina's cousin. Sev said, And I, I, I think Katrina's one of the most lovely girls I've worked with. Everyone's lovely. Be lucky oh, to have her as a, you know, um, girlfriend, fiance. Ah, well, we've waited this long for Katrina and Ranbir to make an official comment on their relationship, so what is a little bit longer? And there might be an official announcement of a new casting pretty soon. A few episodes ago, 9xc.com The Show told you that Alia Bhatt and Varun Dhawan had snuck in for a screening of a South film. Director Shahad Ali had held a private screening of the film OK Kanamani for the two young stars. It was obvious that he wanted to remake his mentor Mani Ratnam's film and hence was showing it to the stars that he was thinking to cast. What we're trying to say is that Shad wanted to remake OK Kanmani with Alia and Varun. Great, so what's next? Well, sorry guys, but that casting did not come through. Alia and Varun just can't accommodate another film in their busy schedules. But, 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 a fresh pairing might just be on the cards. Buzz is Shad has finalized Sonakshi Sinha and Aditya Roy Kapoor to play the loved up couple who move in together. Well, Sonakshi and Aditya do have projects on hand, but when you compare them to Alia and Varun, they have a much freer schedule. So which pair do you guys want to see in the remake? Varun and Alia or Sonakshi and Aditya? Let us know on Twitter at 9 xc the show using hashtag OKGunMoney Remake or talk to us on Facebook.com slash 9 xc Coming up, Sunny Leone continues to be rejected by the censor board. Which superstar couple has Arbaki cast in his next? Welcome back to 9xc.com, the show where we bring you the latest on your favorite Bollywood stars. Ajay Devgan and Tabu are all set to thrill us with Drishyam, so we caught up with them to know a little bit more about the film. anxious <laughs> because चार छह महीने एक फिल्म पे काम करता है तो एक एक रिजल्ट का जो एक रिजल्ट की जो एंशियसनेस होती है वो जरूर रहती है थोड़ी बहुत हुएवर विल सी दिस फिल्म विल कैन नॉट टर्न अराउंड एंड से दैट इट इज इट इज एन एवरेज फिल्म यू विल ओनली से दैट इट इज अ फैबुलस फिल्म और अ गुड फिल्म वन नर्वसनेस ने मतलब बैक ऑफ द माइंड शायद एक एंशियसनेस है इट्स मोर अ क्यूरियोसिटी टू सी के हाउ इट्स गोना बी रिसीव्ड यू नो इट्स अ लेटेंट एक्साइटमेंट बट ऐसे डर नर्वसनेस ऐसा आई थिंक वो स्टेज शायद हम क्रॉस कर चुके हैं हाँ, वो वो स्टेज पहले वो, थी भी नहीं हम लोग आई डोंट थिंक वी आर काइंड ऑफ पहले परवाह नहीं करते थे अब पहले परवाह नहीं करते थे अब <laughs> अभी भी परवाह नहीं करते <laughs> आदत पड़ गई आदत पड़ गई है आई मीन दो वी नो दैट दे आर गोइंग टू बी कंपेरिजन पीपल हुआ सीन दी ओरिजिनल माई टेन टू कंपेयर Uh, but people who seen the original um, might not even, you know, be the audience that is really going to see this on the first day. So I think our audience is going to be our audience, and but he's not seen it. I bought the whole screenplay, and I didn't want to see it because it was my character was played by Mohanlal, and uh, I think he's a fabulous actor, and I didn't want want to get influenced in any which way. uh the way he has performed so because everybody has a different take different body language and uh, i don't even worry of comparisons because it is mohanlal you know it's not somebody who's who's like my contemporary or somebody he's somebody senior he's a fabulous actor uh, it does not matter to me if people turn around and say that you know mohanlal did a better job because i feel that he's a great actor we met i think it was a shock for the unit the way yeah. we met that you know the way they be behaving with each other is like two uh, two 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 boys or two friends uh so that's the relationship we share so for us it was just where we had left we started from but every everybody else was amazed pura experience itna uh, comfortable tha ki main bhul hi gayi hu ki this is a project that we are working on aur iski 
बॉक्स ऑफिस सक्सेस के बारे में हमें परेशान होना है या कुछ करना है एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज ही इज़ अराउंड हाव द थिंग्स हील टेक चार्ज एंड हील मेक श्योर एवरी थिंग इज फाइन सो दैट वे आई एम हैविंग अ गुड टाइम इवन नाउ I don't think I ever envisioned that when I was working as a, you know, opposite him in the romantic lead. I never ever thought that one day I would be really standing against him and being almost the antagonist for him. But it's a really interesting twist in my life also. You move on. It's been 25 years. Uh you've seen a lot of success and a lot of uh, failures and um the bottom line is that it has it has not affected in any which way and uh, it's it's too long a time uh, for for a failure to affect you so uh, so uh, you don't carry that burden with you you just move on and you do something else you guys can catch the full interview on 9xe.com but that's not all later in the episode we bring you a conversation with ajay's on screen wife shreya saran moving on to our next piece pradeesh nandi must be pretty worried our sources have it that the producer pradeesh has towed the line and tried to get his masti zade cleared by the censors 9xe.com told you that sunny's movie was rejected thrice once by the censor board then by the revising committee and finally by the film certificate appellate tribunal This left Pratish at his wits end. After all, the only option he had next was to get a court clearance for Masti Zade. Instead, what did Pratish do? He went back to the editing table and self-censored the movie. Then last Thursday, he went with a completely revised version of Masti Zade for clearance to the censors at NFDC Worli Mumbai. Also present at the screening was director Milab Zaveri. But to Pratish and Milab's shock, even the revised version of Sunny's movie was rejected outright by the censors. Seems it was still vulgar enough for the censors to deny the film a release. Pratish must have thought his new strategy of a revised version would work, but little did he know that with Behlaj Nehlani at the helm of affairs and approval of a Sunny Leone movie would have its share of problems. With the latest disapproval, Masti Zade seems to be in deep trouble. So does court now seem like an easier option, Ms. Anandi? We'd like to know your thoughts on the issue, so tweet us your views at 9xe the show using hashtag Sunny Too Hot for CBFC, or talk to us on Facebook.com/9xe. Moving on, there is some big news for Bollywood buffs. Amitabh and Jaya Bachchan will be seen together in Our Balkis next. Buzz is Amitabh and Jaya will play themselves. The two will portray a power couple from the film industry in the as yet untitled movie. Along with them Arjun Kapoor and Kareena Kapoor are cast together for the first time in the Balki movie. According to reports Arjun and Kareena will portray a married couple in the movie. Balki earlier helmed the Big B star as Chini Kam, Pa and later on the two came together for Shamitab. The Amitab Jaya casting has always been exciting after the two played iconic roles in Chupke Chupke and Abhiman. And of course who can forget the underlying emotion between Jaya and Amitab in Shole. Well, we sure are excited at the prospect of seeing the two powerhouse performers together again. Coming up, Amir is very impressed with this young actor. Who is he? A Pakistani national is seeking compensation from Salman. Again on 9xe.com the show. So Raj Kumar Rao has wowed audiences with his performances in all of his movies. Seems it's not just us but Bollywood superstar Amir Khan who is also impressed with his Talash co-star. Who can forget their on-screen bond as inspector and assistant? So impressed was Amir by Raj Kumar that he has gone ahead and suggested Raj Kumar's name for a role in his upcoming Dangal. Buzz is that Raj Kumar is likely to be a part of the movie. Well, this is certainly good news. Amir and Raj Kumar together again, and that too in one of the most anticipated Bollywood movies. While it is yet to be revealed whether they will share screen space, we are super excited just knowing that the two super actors are working on a project together. Now on to our next story. So Bajrangi Bhaijaan is doing great at the box office. People have been loving the film and it's been raking in the big bucks. But now there's someone outside the film who wants a piece of the pie. Pakistani journalist Jan Nawab is requesting Salman Khan to compensate him since he was the inspiration for Nawazuddin Siddiqui's character in Bajrangi Bhaijaan. 
John Noah became an internet sensation when a video of his went viral. He was recording a news piece at a railway station when he kept getting interrupted by passers-by. Through the video, he slowly loses his cool and eventually begins swearing at them. It's actually pretty hilarious. In Bajrangi by John, Nawaz does a great imitation of him. Now John Nawab wants to be compensated for it all. He told a section of the media, I am a poor journalist and don't want to deal with the legalities, but I expect Salman Khan to give me a compensation for using me as inspiration for a character. John Nawab says that he is not demanding the compensation, nor will he take legal action if they deny him the money. It seems that after Bajrangi Bhaijan's release, John Nawab has also received offers to star in advertisements. In the meanwhile, why don't you guys check out the hashtag Real John Nawab video online and tell us what you guys think at 9XC The Show or talk to us on facebook.com slash 9XC. So he might not be making any demands from Salman Khan, but a demand of a hefty compensation is being made from Hema Malini. Earlier this month, Hema Malini was involved in a car accident near Jaipur. A small child lost her life in the accident and her family was left injured. The family belongs to the Khandelwal community. The community is demanding a compensation of nearly 20 lakh from Hema. A member of the community had told a section of the media, Hema Malini is a mother herself. She should have more compassion. Hema is from the BJP whose governments talk about Beti Bachao constantly and clicking selfies with daughters. But their own MP left another daughter to die on the road. There has been no help from her till now. If she can't help, at least she should stop writing insensitive tweets. Hema, in a series of tweets, had hit out at the girl's father after the accident. However, Hema is yet to reply to this set of demands. So what's your take on the issue? Should Hema Malini pay compensation or not? Tweet us at 9XE The Show using hashtag Hema Accident or talk to us on facebook.com slash 9XE. Now moving on. So of late, we've been seeing a lot of Fawad Khan and no one is complaining. After he bagged awards for his Bollywood debut in Khub Surat, he's become an industry favourite. He's got a starring role in Karan Johar's Kapoor and & Sons and might even be seen in Air Delhi Mushkil. We'd also love to have seen him with Sonam Kapoor once again in the film adaptation of the book Battle for Bithora. However, he had to drop out of the project. Speculation was rife that Fuad was uncomfortable with the intimate scenes that were part of the Battle for Bithora script. There were also rumours that he was afraid that Sonam will overshadow him. But only Fawad knows the real reason and he spilled the beans. Oh, of course, the date issue. That's the most tried and tired excuse in the book. Next time, try harder, Fawad. Coming up, Dhanush signs his next Bollywood film. Vipasha disobeys mother again. After that break, you've joined us on 9xe.com the show. So as promised, we have an exclusive interview with Shreya Saran, Ajay Devgan's Drishyam co-star. Check it out. What's up guys, I'm Nafisa and you're watching 9xe.com the show. I'm here with Shreya and we're going to talk about the movie Drishyam. Hi. Hi. Welcome to 9xe. Thank you. So tell us, how did this movie happen to you? I think Drishyam is one of the best scripts ever. And uh, when I got to know that they're making this film uh, in Hindi, in Hindi, you accepted? I, yes, I wanted to do it. Um, and I met Nishi, I met the producers and uh, it just happened. All I can say is that I'm really happy that I'm part of the film. Tell us a bit about your character. It's a role of a simple girl from uh, Goa. Uh, she lives in a small village. Um, she has small dreams. She's simple. Uh, her world is uh, all about her husband and her kids. and. I mean, all she wants is one ice cream or maybe go out with her husband on a small uh, one-day uh, uh, trip to the city, nice. go watch a movie. How her character changes in the second half to a very strong, uh, strong person who is extremely afraid of losing her family and how uh, the entire family uh, comes together to, uh, and, 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 is, and is there for each other. So how is it working with Ajay and Tabu? Well, I've been a big fan of Ajay, I've seen all his work. Uh, he's a brilliant actor and he makes it very easy for you to perform with him. 
because if acting is all about reacting it becomes very easy to react to him nice you've worked with abu before haven't you i did i did a film in telugu with her before um she's a very loving warm sweet person uh, like i remember i wanted to eat halim one day and then next day there was halim for me and she got it for oh, me sweet. made and it was just fun uh, working with her were you at any point during the shoots intimidated by ajay you know he has this humongous screen I presence i was literally uh, i was extremely nervous the first day first two three days and then i think after a while i got over it because he leaves his stardom back home when he comes and sets he's very knowledgeable very well read that's right he has a brilliant sense of humor those one liners come once in a while and they funny although you don't uh, although you're yeah. not expecting it from him like you said it <laughs> and um, so yeah it was uh, after a while i got over it and then it was fun to work with him all right your favorite song from the movie you know this the story uh, in this film could not uh, accommodate many songs so we have two songs vishal bhardwaj the way he gives music it, this the song becomes part of uh, the the film dil ghutta hai has these lovely lyrics by guldra saab uh that's one that one's your favorite it's it's haunting it stays with you for a very very long time carbon copy is very humble it'll uh, become part of your dna and it's very interesting how uh guldra saab has used carbon copy as part of a song you know it's just uh and uh, and kind of blended in so well and it's time for me to sign out i'll see you at the movies bye thank you moving on from that interview ananda rai is basking in the success of the tanuwaj's money franchise and dhanush has made a mark for himself in bollywood with ranjana and now rai and dhanush have decided to come together for another movie making it evident that any fallout between the two is a matter of the past Dhanush made his Bollywood debut in Anand Dal Rai's Ranjana where he shared screen space with Sonam Kapoor. However, during Tanuwaj's Money Returns, the buzz was that Dhanush was miffed with the Maverick director over a cameo that he was supposed to play in the sequel. Reportedly, the role Dhanush played was snipped away on the editing table without his knowledge. Hmm, that would be a shocker to any actor, right? But the equation does seem to have changed now. Our sources have it that the actor-director duo will collaborate on the Bollywood remake of a South film that originally starred Dhanush himself. Well, given Dhanush's very choice of roles, this does seem like it might be an interesting movie, right guys? And what's also interesting is the fact that Bipasha Basu is totally still in a relationship with Karan Singh Grover despite her mother's opposition. So scream queen Bipasha Basu has been painting the town red with alleged beau Karan Singh Grover. Earlier 9xc.com told you that Bips's mother has made it extremely clear that she doesn't approve of the twice divorced Karan. The Jisim beauty however threw caution to the wind and flew away to the marvelous Maldives with Karan disobeying mummy's orders. Joining her was also friend and celeb trainer Diane Pandey. This isn't the first time Bipasha has disobeyed her mother's edict and a few days ago Karan and Bipasha caught a movie together. Now this makes us wonder what's going on in Bipasha's mind. Is this relationship worth going against her and mother or is it true love and Bipasha knows what she's doing? And that's all we have for you guys this episode, but we will be back with another episode loaded with Bollywood gossip on Friday. So don't forget to follow us on facebook.com/9xc and tweet us at 9xc the show. Visit our 9xc site for all the latest celeb gossip. Visit our entire episodes on YouTube and of course get our free 9xc app too. But before we go, here's our 9xc frames moment. Ritik Roshan and his sons had some serious father son time when they caught a movie at a suburban multiplex in Mumbai. Don't they look so cute?